Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this is Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're going to be doing the IC region that we haven't uncovered yet. Well, I have already been there with uh, doing the unlimited power, but now we have actually had to do the quests that are still there. So for those that don't know, I am here at the uh, new camp spawning location, the teleport, and I'm going to go towards the Icy Dragon, which he's already there because... Um, I have already gone into chapter 4, and there's gonna be some enemies along the way. Uh, particularly these lizard men that we're not so very fond of. Oh, come on. Probably take on the wisp. Actually, let me use the bow, it might be quicker. Since we uh, one-shot pretty much all of them. And why we shot one shot all of them? Well, I have 800 dexterity and uh, a lot of stamina, so it's pretty much like 2,000 per hit, right? And yes, I'm still playing on the easiest mode just for the sake of this this quest line, uh, this guide. I will kill the rest later myself, but once you get to to this area where the dragon spawns you're gonna have to go up here and normally there would be some orcs here but i have already uh, gotten rid of them for those that haven't played Go gothic one yet you would know that this is also the place it's not the same of course because there's actually a path that goes directly up here to the um the new camp's mine or the free mine there's also going to be some orcs here, if you haven't done the orc city quests yet. But all in all, you have to go through this uh, little tunnel here until you reach the end. Here there will also be some orcs and works. And then down here there will be a whole lot of orcs. Well, I guess I missed one. <laughs> in my case, everything's already done. There will be an orc that will have a key. For which you will have to get in here and uh, click on this winch and the gate towards the mine will actually open. So there's a, an orc with a specific name. I think it's a guard orc and then you can go inside. Once you're inside there's going to be a whole lot of orcs inside as well. I still have actually a few that I haven't gotten rid of. But if you're confused where to go, because sometimes this is confusing, once you get to this little point, take a right, jump down, jump down again, yep, and then go through here. The main work of this facility will be standing right there by the fireplace. It's also part of the free mine quest uh, for Garand. Uh, and then once you're here, next to this smelter, instead of going down, you go here to the left. Once you go through here, take another left, take another left, go down here, and through here. Once you're in this area, you have to take these little, um ladders to two tiny ladders and you'll come across two chests one of these uh, chests is for the quest for nefarious that he will give you basically uh, free resistance to to ice to to cold you can also learn it from uh, lee of course but that requires learning points and if you're doing this on uh, nightmare all the learning points you get are very crucial so you have to save as many as you can for the things that actually matter. Once you're down and you come up here, there seems to be a dead end. But actually, this is the go-to place to go to the next area, which is the icy region. Once we're on the side, there's going to be a couple of ore crawlers and a lot of ore, uh, ma sorry, magical ore that you can also gather. Okay, I have already cleared up this place. Now we just need to take a right. There's going to be a couple of wolves here. 
a couple of orcs. We keep going until we reach this area here. We're going to be even a white shadow beast in that little cave down there. And we can go through here. I think the uh, my will of the wisp is gonna start pick up picking up stuff. And we're gonna go to this little palisade, and we're gonna try to go through here. So this is Lee's old friend update, and this is also the quest that we need to um, mainly focus on. So what do we do here? Well, basically we need to open this door. And try to take up some meat and wine, and the guy's gonna appear right up behind us. Hands off my meat. And I thought there was a guy named Aldo okay. Hart. Now we ask him some questions. Wait a minute. My... You ask him about how he got here, why is he here alone, why is he not with the group, and he says that a lot of orcs uh, ambushed them and killed most of them except him and the leader that they actually kidnapped, well, took, whatever you want to call it. Once that is done, we can continue our journey. I, first of all, when I'm at this level, I just go kill all the orcs that I can find, and that's what we're going to do first. So there's a little area here that you can go to. I think I already cleared. Oh, no, I haven't cleared it. Hello. So these are mountain orcs. These are not the, the same kind of orcs, and you have to be very careful because they are. there are two groups. But we're going to get rid of these ones first. Okay, nice. Nothing really here to look out for except this tomb that you can go down to. And this tomb is um, very interesting because it has undead orcs. It has a few undead orcs and I think even a skeleton. Oh look, a 10,000 uh, HP spider. That we kill in three shots. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Pretty insane at this point. We're gonna check out everything if there's something that we missed. Another demonic orc. Let's see now. Checking everything. I think there's like a chest or two. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh look, another orc. Just standing there. Nice. Okay, and it looks our strength. That's not too bad. And I think there should be something in this direction as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't a skeleton. It was an undead orc. It's a... Oh, no, no, no. It, it is a skeleton. Huh. And he drops an ice hammer. Now, I'm not sure what this specific ice hammer does. Let me check. I think it's a new weapon that I have not seen before. Mm, probably a little lower. Nordmar hammer. I'm not sure. I think it could be an, a quest item because I don't see it here. Oh well. Let's continue. Let us continue. Let's not waver too much on this. This is the first area that we need to clear, and I'm going to take you to the second area that we need to clear. So back where we came through, I'm going to go back towards Alderheart, and instead of going directly back towards the Palisade, we're going to take the right and keep going until we reach a little, um, well, doorway that doesn't have a door. This is also the way to the unlimited quest, unlimited power quest. But last time, instead of going to the right here, which is a copy-paste of the Jarkin the Extended Area, we took a straight. So this time, we're just going to clear out these orcs. And I'm doing this in advance, so I don't have to do it later. In the previous um, versions of 
gothic. I think it was in alternative balance. It's not in the new balance. These orcs were immortal until you finished a specific quest that would make them, that would hinder them mortal again. But here they're just easily killable. And you have to kill all of them, ex uh, including a, um, a leader that is up there with 10,000 HP. There you go. And the shaman. There's gonna be a couple of orcs up there as well. Let's see. <laughs> they just keep coming. It feels like there's quite a few of them, but it's not that many, to be honest. I'm just going up here to finish the rest off. And these three are the last ones, I believe. Now we can gladly move on. I'm not sure if the uh, elite, sorry, the leader orc has anything dropped specifically. I think the Will of the Wisp already picked it up. Indeed, it has. So now we're going to go back and we're going to introduce ourselves to one of the um, sort of called good orcs in this area. But they're not good because no orcs in this game are actually good. And for this, we're going to need our armor of the orcs and the Ulumulu. We can still kill these mountain orcs here. And we need to get up there where that little uh, teleporter stone is. So let's go. I have already activated it just in advance. But this is the way that you need to go so you don't get lost. So this is the teleporter stone. And the orc that we need to find is right up there. So I'm going to switch to my normal armor. Uh, sorry, orc armor. It's this one. And my Ulumulu, which is on uh, 7, uh, F7, there you go. That's just in case, because I haven't actually tested what exactly you need, but these two are definitely the things you might need to talk to this orc. Otherwise, he just starts attacking Mara, you. What do you need, Mora? So you tell him you have the uh, the orc armor and you have the Ulamulo and um, then you have a question. If he has seen Lee's old friend Darius, and we're gonna go and try and find him. So how to get there? Oh, I'm gonna just drop down here. Whoop! <laughs> Can't believe this guy's still alive. Okay, there's gonna be another troll here. There's even a little uh, ore mine in here. I think there's a, a tiny mini boss that you might have to kill. Let's check. Oh, there is. Yeah, but I killed him already. That was fast. An ore crawler mini boss. And you have a little. a few pieces of ore here that you can gather. You're gonna need 50 pieces to impress the. Uh, the uh, the orcs to get in their in their camp so make sure you gather these first and once you're here this is the orc camp that i was talking about where darius is located before i go in there however i want to kill something that uh the leader wants and that is a white troll that is hidden in, in here somewhere. Okay, there's a white shadow beast over there. And if we follow this blood trail. This is where the, the white troll lives. So we're going to go through here. And we're going to follow it down there. And through this little cave area. Up here. In here. And the cave troll is going to be down on the bottom of this cave. He's huge by the way. I think it's bigger bigger than the black troll. But he's not any harder to kill. There you 
you go. He even got stuck, so that's about it. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport back to um back to the free rune stone. This one that we just uh, found out earlier, so I don't have to climb up all the way to, from the from that cave. It's easier this way. Now we just have to find the orc that's gonna let us in. So the orc that we're gonna talk to is this one, the the clan gatekeeper. And then you show him the uh, the fifty magic ore that you have, and you're gonna represent this gift to the leader. The leader is located in the middle of these three little cave systems. He's standing right here. And you give him 50 pieces of magic ore. Looking for a small group of people. Alright, right after that we have to go back to the entrance of this area. So we go to the Freeman Pass. And before we went to the right here, now we have to go to the right and kill some orcs that have spawned in this little cave. Once you get rid of them, it should be pretty much easy pickings after that. Oh yeah, jumping in fire now apparently causes burn damage. So let's see, Orc Settlement, uh, yeah, that's the one we're looking for. Teleports you right in front of their gate, not inside of it, but hey, better that than nothing. Talk to the leader again. You give him the head of the elder leader head. Um, and then, then you talk about if there's any other war clans, you already wiped them out. And then you, you tell them that, that they're dead, he salutes you, as always, and then Darius appears. Okay, someone is still alive, which is Alderath, and why didn't the orcs kill you? It's because... a lot of things. <laughs> I never actually went through the story to see why he's alive, because he's not uh, that much of a character in the first place. Okay, once you stop talking to him, talk to the orc leader again, and ask him what does he want for the prisoner, and he wants the white troll skin, which you give it to him, he will need a guide, and that's it, and now he's free. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Aldera real quick, see if... Um, if there's anything else that we can tell him, Let's see, we have to go that way to the to the palisade again. Whee. He should be in this cave right here. Hey, you. Talk to him for some extra experience. Well, yeah. Oh, never mind. They used to give him, but now they're not. All right. So, we're gonna go back to the Corinna's area of Owner's Farm. Go we'll talk to the leader of the mercenaries. Your old friend Darius will join you soon. I know, buddy. He showed up. Is everything all? He's all right. It's funny how he says he showed up here a couple of days ago when you were just literally there. So you can talk to him. I think he's standing next to Onar himself. Indeed. Pickpocket him again. <laughs> and Alderas should be also on the farm. I just don't know exactly where he... I think he's normally in the tavern. But he's not here this time. Or in front of that... Uh... Yeah, in front of the chimney. How did you end? So now that they're both here, you can go back to Orc, the Orc settlement, and you can get rid of them for some extra experience. Let's go to the icy Orc settlement and just clear out the map, literally. 
right over here. Hmm. I should have uh, probably switched to my normal weapon and my normal armor. Since I already killed them, two of them, with... Uh, with the uh, with the Ulumulu, then it doesn't really matter. We're gonna get uh, rid of the other orcs in the meantime, anyway. If you're wondering, this is uh, going fast forward? No, it's just uh, super speed. Just super speed. Alright. Time to turn on the old Will of the Wisp. See if there's anyone left. Oh, one measly orc. And Darius apparently is dead here, even though we already seen him in uh, in Owner's Farm. It's hilarious. So there's two of them. <laughs> as, as long as the uh, quest is done, you have nothing to worry about. So that's it for the uh, icy mountains with the orcs uh nothing more to be at here if you have any questions about this area there is one more thing i probably should do and that is to find the water mage that's on top of that mountain over there and to get there i think the easiest way would be to get on top of this thing there's also some enemies still alive apparently Look at that. Okay, so that's the rune stone right there. We need to go here to the right. To find a bridge of some sort. I think... Let me see. You can even kill the orc that's over there, but I'm not going to. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that's the bridge I was talking about. We need to get to that bridge, and from here, you can go all the way to the top. When the sun is shining, by the way, it's hard to see, so make sure you go in this time of the day, which is evening time, and you will come across this water mage, and he will ask you for some, um, to you, traveler. Are you lost? some material for making houses and stuff. Nothing much... <laughs> Nothing much else here. He doesn't want to go back. He would rather live here. He's blind. That's about it. Okay, so you give him a hammer, tree, and a pickaxe. And he gives you a scroll of shrink. So shrink monster is one of the most powerful spells. Even though in, like, in the original, it doesn't shrink pretty much everything. The uh, dragons are immune to this spell, unfortunately, but everything else, aside from um, bosses, they're pretty much shrinkable. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.